in this video i would like to explain uh, regarding handrails so this is a simple example uh, showing handrails so first of all i'll explain about different components of handrails so this one is called uh, top rail and uh, it is called uh, knee rail or uh, mid, mid rail and uh, toe plate it is uh, will come in this area and in this figure uh, it is not shown but uh, Top plate is this one. In this area, we find uh, the top plate. So the top member of handle is called top rail. Middle member is called uh, middle member of handle is called knee rail. Uh, at the bottom member of handle, so this one is called uh, the top plate. And uh, the distance from here to here, okay, uh, it is called the post. I'll explain in detail uh, regarding handrails in further slides. So this is. Uh, the complete figure showing uh, different components of a uh, handrail. So, so these are the different WOSHA regulations we have uh, that we must keep in mind uh, in a handrail. The post to post distance should be maximum of six feet. I'll show you in this figure. Uh, this is called the post. The maximum distance between the post is, uh, is limited to six feet as per OSHA regulations and uh, wall hang should be limited to 1 feet to 1 feet 6 inches and uh, the distance between the top rail and mid rail is 1 feet 9 inches so we can see here uh, the distance between the top rail and mid rail is limited to 1 feet 9 inches so this distance is limited to 1 feet uh, 9 inches so that is what uh, it is showing and uh, the gap between the finish floor and toe plate is 1 by 4 inches so the gap between the finisher floor and the toe plate so uh, you can see here it is called the finisher floor and uh, here uh, we'll have the toe plate so the gap between the finisher floor and uh, the toe plate is limited to 1 by 4 inches okay uh, I think uh, this is how we get the toe plate so the gap between the finisher floor and the toe plate is 1 by 4 inches and uh, handrails are typically supported by posts uh, mounted directly to walls that's what we have seen earlier and uh, handrails can be uh, side mounting and top mounting and uh, so this one i'll explain in the next video the clearance between the walls and handrails is uh, one and a half inch for which uh, for each sliding purpose this one i'll explain in the next slide and um, here we can see wall rails are connected to walls with brackets which are brought out items. So this too I'll explain in the next uh, video. So uh, here we can see the clearance between the wall and handrail is one and of uh, inches for sliding purpose. So here we can see the gap between uh, this wall and uh, this rail. So this gap must be uh, of uh, one and of inch so that uh, the hand can be moved easily. And uh, these items are there now. These are brought out items. So th these are just brought out items that we can uh, uh, bring from the shop. So this is what uh, explaining the eighth point. So here we can see the eighth point wall rails are connected to walls with brackets which are brought out items. So these are the brackets uh, which are uh, the brought out items. Okay. Uh, 